You're listening to Up FM 1075. All right. We have Mr. Dane Rumble in the studio with us. Good morning. Good morning, lads. How are we? Oh, good. How are you, mate? Not too bad, actually. Not too, Not bad. too bad. Oh, yeah, so caught up with you at uh, Big Day Out. How was it? Big Day Out was awesome, bro. I go every year. I think I've gone every year since uh, I was 13. Since you were 13? Because my dad used to sell t-shirts at Big Day Out, bro, so he used to sneak us in the back of his van. Oh, choice. How about <laughs> that, eh? How about that? Free Big Day Out tickets. So what was your... Um, Favourite act? Who are you looking to see before you went, to be honest? Um, I'm a big Wolf Mother fan. Yep. I was keen on seeing Wolf Mother. Um, Tool as well, because I saw Tool last time. Like, yep. I, I'm not huge on their music, but um, I was just blown away last time they played it. Big Doubt just blew my mind, so I was really looking forward to seeing those guys. Also looking forward to seeing Lupe, but it was a bit of a letdown, that show. Did you see him? Yeah, no, I saw, I saw I He had a mare, eh? Like, he was having an start, absolute yeah. mare, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt it was like, him, actually. There was, like, um, three false starts of, like, the same song, and I, by then I was just like, no, nah, ha- I've had enough of you, I'm going. Totally, bro, and, like, yeah, because I, I went up the front with, like, a whole crew of boys, and by the third, like, epic, you know, um, starting fail, like, it just filtered right out, man. Like, everyone was just like, nah. <laughs> yeah. I like, think man. everyone discovered our Plan B was playing at the same time, so they yeah. oh, Lupe, shit, so... <laughs> Did you did you see Plan B? Yeah, I saw Plan B. Mean? Man. Oh, yeah, too mickey. Really? Too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That a uh, human human beatbox is doing all the dubstep parts for him, so it was yeah. faith. Uh, faith, is it fix? Yeah. Something like right. that. What's his name? Yeah, he's a massive beatbox. He's so good. Oh no, I, yeah, I, I heard about it, eh? But no, I missed it. My bad. Oh. <laughs> There's always another time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll jump into some questions for you. Um, Kickstart. So, how did the whole idea of um, Fast crew come about. That's heading back to. That's going back, man. Um, Way back. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we we started um, the idea of fast crew. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie. We <laughs> were a graffiti crew originally. Like we used to go around and and uh, deface the streets. <laughs> uh, we we're we we're a, a crew called the FCW. And actually, not many people know this. It's awesome that I can chat about this. Uh, we were called the FCW. We were called the Fat Cat Riders. We were a bunch of like white kids uh, racing around, like you know, graphing up the train stations and stuff like that. Um, and then eventually, like we got into freestyling and um, break dancing and stuff. And yeah. me and a lot of the bros would go around to like parties and like time of the bomb funk C like. That oh, sort of freestyler. <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, definitely a lot cooler than that. Oh, but um, but uh, yeah, no. And so that's kind of how things started. And then um, between me, Jeremy, and Brad, we kind of worked out that we could actually put songs together. You know, we we we, we started downloading beats. And we started writing songs over other people's beats. And, yeah. And then Jeremy bought like a real basic production program and started writing his own tunes. And then we, you know we kind of thought, hey, we can actually we can do this on our own kind of thing. And yeah, so that's how it started, man. Choice. Long time ago. <laughs> That's going all the way back. Um, so from from fast crew to your music career now, what inspired you to change and like you know it's a sort of genre? What made the change? Um, I got sick of writing hip hop. Yep. I basically fell out of love with writing hip hop. It was it was as simple as that. Like I when uh, fast crew was coming to its end, I was writing a lot of my own solo tunes, but like producing a lot of hip hop stuff. And to be honest, man, I wrote nothing that, nothing that I liked, and nothing that I was comfortable. But I, I wasn't happy to show any of my boys any of these tunes. So I was like, man, this is just no good. And uh, so I decided to give up writing music altogether. And um, it was a couple of months later, I ended up just picking up the acoustic guitar and I started just um, putting chord progressions Jimmy together. And, yeah, yeah, man, and basically just you know approached songwriting in a different way and then I just it just took me off in a new direction choice yeah, yeah. massive new direction uh, um what uh, who's been your biggest inspiration so far in your career biggest inspiration um <clears throat> I have or oh, musically um huge I'm a huge Jay-Z fan uh but I I love Classic rock man. I grew up listening to Led Zeppelin and ACDC and stuff like that. Big Metallica fan. Did you end up going to the ACD concert by any chance? Hell yes, bro. <laughs> Hell yes. Yep. Right at the front. ACDC was one of those bands. I was like, I, I wouldn't miss if they came to New Zealand. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Did you see uh, U2 and Jay Z? Yeah, bro. Uh, we went both <laughs> nights. <laughs> That's how hardcore I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
That was dope, man. That was real dope. I'm gutted. I heard it, but I didn't see it. All right. <laughs> heard it all the way from Rimuera, but didn't, oh, didn't get to see it, so that was pretty <laughs> rad. You missed out, bro. Jago was just insane. Eh? I know. I don't know. Like we said, there will be any, there will be another time. Somewhere in the world. Fingers crossed. We will go see him somewhere in the world. We yeah. will. <laughs> I mean, you, you can almost guarantee that you two is going to be back. Like those yeah. guys will be back in the next. Few They'll years. be back. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. So, um, looking forward, looking to the future, who would you like to work with? Maybe in 2011. Um, or maybe you can give us a sneak peek of who you're working with, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm actually heading over to uh, Atlanta to work with a uh, producer, a songwriter um, called Manuel over there, and he's uh, he's written and produced for like Mariah Carey and Usher, and he's a kind of a big deal. And I didn't I didn't really know anything that about is quite him. A big and, deal, eh? and he, he, he hit me up on uh, he hit well, my management company up. And then I end up having a few Skype chats with this guy, and um, he's kind of like an older African American guy, real switched on. And then I Googled him, eh, and I was like, okay, you know, this guy sold something like 150 million singles like that he's written on. So, far out. Um, so I got pretty <laughs> got pretty excited about that. So I'm heading over in March to work with him, and then uh, spending some time in Aussie and some studios over there. Um, no, I've got a couple of collaborations on the go, but I don't want to chat about them until fair enough. They come fair to enough. Fruition. So yeah, might so, might get in trouble for that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, where can people see you next? Um, uh, that's a good question. I will be in Wellington this Saturday. <laughs> at the Wellington races. Just have to check with the manager for that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of those real slack, slack artists where I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. You just get I, I, You had to text me and, and tell me that I had this interview today. <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, but uh, if people want to find out where I'm at, they can check out my MySpace page, which is always pretty good with updating shows, which is myspace.com forward slash day in rumble music. Or I have a Facebook fan page where I post shows. Um, but I'm, I'm always playing, man. I'm always, always around. Always somewhere. Always, always somewhere. around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you reckon it's time for the hot seat? Are you ready? Yeah, mate. Would you like to earn a dollar in 10 seconds? Um, if, you, if you figure it out, that's $360 an hour, so you know, it's not too bad. All right, yeah, I'm pretty desperate for well, that dollar. Well, there's the dollar on the table. <laughs> All right, it's there if you can do it. <laughs> All right, so a hot seat goes like this. We ask you about five questions. Off Sweet. the top of your tongue, you got to boost out whatever answer comes out first. All right, here we go. All right, favorite yeah. color? Blue. Favorite car? Audi. Favorite activity? Riding music. Pavl- <laughs> pavlova or rugby? Uh, uh, I'm not a rugby fan. I'm going to go for Pavlova, eh? Movie. Um, Shawshank Redemption. Done. Gold. Oh, that Go was easy, mate. Seconds. Easy. Oh, we thought you'd give you an easy one. Congratulations. Sweet. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, he's got his dollar. Work it. Excellent, boys. Awesome. Thank you very much for coming in and having a chat with us. We really appreciate that. Sweet, bros. It's nice to come up here finally. Yeah. And hang out. Yeah, Just good to catch up with you a big day out as well. Yeah, bro. Hope you had a sweet time. I, I know had, I did. I had a sweet <laughs> time, mate. It was fantastic. Uh, sweet. <laughs> well, we'd love to have you back sometime. Catch up in the future. See what's Well, mate, up. I live, like I said, bro, I'm 100 metres down the road, bro, so give me a ring. I'll I will do. Anytime, mate. Choice, thank you very much for coming in. Sweet days.